and good day to everyone. Welcome to study painting and decoration and digital marketing and communication in Australia, Pacific Training Group. Hello, also to all of our viewers from LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. My name is Hannah, and I am Kim, and we will be your hosts for this afternoon. Welcome to all of our viewers here in South Korea. Thank you for joining us for another live event. Yes, we welcome you once again, and we do hope you stay with us until the end. All right. So, without further further ado, let's dive into our programs. To start with Kim, can you please give us an overview about who Pacific Training Group is? Thank you, Hannah. I would love that too. Pacific Training Group or PTG is one of the leading vocational education training providers. Here in Australia, we have been in the industry since 2015 with more than 20 Australian qualifications and over 30 short courses. In 2019, we started to offer these courses online as well. And with more than 50 industry partners, we are able to help our students to get into studying and living in Australia more easily. We also have more than campuses experienced trainers and great connections to industry plus you will also have the access to our world-class e-learning resources through our platform called ptg online that's right kim here at ptg we strive to have a great community of trainers staff and other learners who will support our students throughout their journey now, this wouldn't be possible if we d didn't have our own place of learning, right? So depending on your preference, you may choose to study in any of our two campuses. The first one is our Sydney campus, located in Pyramont, New South Wales. To quote the famous Australian felt maker, one of the great things about Sydney is that it has a great acceptance of everyone and everything. It is an incredibly tolerant city a city with a huge multicultural basis. I agree, Sydney is indeed beautiful. We also have our Gold Coast campus located in Surfers Paradise, Queensland. Let's watch these videos for a sneak peek of student life in Sydney and Gold Coast.
Whether it's the Emerald City or the Gold Coast City, both are worth discovering. I just love it when your place of learning can also be a place of your relaxation and discovery. Indeed, I agree with you, Kim. Watching this video suddenly makes me want to see some fireworks or even go surfing on the Gulf Coast. Well, before you get carried away with the vacation fails, let's talk about the benefits of studying abroad. Alright, well, as you can see, 97% of study abroad graduates will land a job in 12 months or less. You will earn higher salary, get more skills, and match more jobs. Very promising, don't you think, Kim? Yes, because here in PTG, we do our best to give the needed training and connect our students to job opportunities or further studies. That's nice! So even after I finish my studies, I can still stay in Australia, get a job, meet more people, and develop my skills, right? That's correct, and that's what Pacific Training Group is here for. Well, um, before we continue, Kim, I'd like to ask you a question. What is your hobby? Well, recently, I am doing or trying to do the crochet. It's a new hobby that I found online. I'm trying to do my best to keep up with the designs. How about you, Hannah? Well, it sounds very interesting, Kim. Well, for me, I, um, I am actually very into yoga. I like to practice yoga at my own time. Um, I think yoga brings you not only good health and gives you that relaxation as well. Well, that's great, Hannah. So why do we talk about these hobbies? Well, that's because if you've noticed, if you look at one good side of the lockdowns in the past few years, is that people were able to have time to actually do their hobbies at home. So there are those who explore cooking, um, taking care of plants, interior designing, or even doing renovations. Indeed, I agree with you. So does that mean PTG has a course related to these hobbies? You're definitely correct, Kim. So PTG is now offering the painting and decoration course. Painters and interior decorators are in high demand. Plus, the industry is still expanding. So there's no better time than now to just get started. That's right, Hannah. And if you're looking at a more flexible work-life balance and explore beyond the traditional 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. schedule, Becoming a decorative contractor may be a path for you. And not just that, Kim. Our students who complete this course would also be able to work for a variety of interesting employers and or even start their own business. So that we have two qualifications under this course. The first one is to be degree in painting and decorating. Kim, would you please tell us a bit more about this? Sure, Hannah. This qualification provides a trade outcome in painting and decorating for residential and commercial construction work. To get a painting constructor's license in many Australian states, you must have an opportunity or appropriate qualification such as our Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating. With this qualification, you could turn any room from drab to beautiful. You will also get the experience of practical activities such as preparing surfaces for painting, applying paint and wallpaper, using a variety of painting equipment, creating textured surfaces, working in the construction industry, and embedding WHS policies and procedures in the workplace. When students can complete this course, they can become a painter or a decorator. Wow, thank you, Kim. Well, our second qualification is the Diploma of Interior Design. This qualification is perfect for those who are innovative and want to design spaces. You will be trained in variety of of related fields, such as researching design goals and requirements, planning, arranging, and styling space, Preparing to find presentations, studying color schemes, furniture, fabrics, fixtures, and lighting, working with builders, architects, and service contractors, and preparing detailed design documentation. Up 
upon graduation, our students can also be an interior decorator, color consultant, interior stylist, interior <laughs> designer, and soft furnishing consultant. These are very promising indeed, Hana. So once again, we have the Certificate 3 in Painting and Decorating and the Diploma in Interior Design. Let's watch this video for a house tour of an award-winning interior designer here in Sydney. My name's Kirsten Stanisich. I'm a director of Richard Stanisich, and this is Redfern Terrace, which is my home. I'm an architect, specialising really in interior design, so I've worked a lot on the house in terms of the design and the refurbishment of the house. Redfern's a really interesting suburb. It's probably one of the oldest suburbs in Sydney. It's located really close to the city, but it's also got a really beautiful leafy outlook. We've got a lot of people walking around the street, so there is a sense of community, and I think that that's got a really great energy about it, and I think it's really important that you feel just as great inside your house as you do outside your house. I think the house does feel really calm. Home really needs to be somewhere that you can recharge and it does have a tranquil kind of relaxed quality to it. I think the light within the house is quite unusual for a terrace. It feels fresh and it feels open. The front of the house faces east. So in the morning um, when I'm having breakfast, there's the light coming through the stained glass windows into the hallway. So the hallway kind of lights up as a little bit of sort of soft admission colour. Later in the afternoon, there's a lot of sun that comes through back into my dining space. The layout of the house actually stayed exactly the same. I've just taken out the island bench um, and created a wall-to-wall -wall kitchen so that you've got the view from the living space that runs back to the garden. There is a sense of being inside the house and a sense of being outside the house. And although I haven't sort of finished working on the garden spaces, I think for a tight urban location, there's something quite beautiful about that really small scale experience of your outdoor space and how important that is for the light um, inside the house. There's a three-dimensional quality to the joinery externally. It's got the ribbed timber. So again, even when you're touching it, you can feel that three-dimensional quality to it. But it also has a little bit of a nod to that kind of Victorian era, rather than having a really slick kind of built-in um, quality to it. I think one of the, um, the challenges is between, you know, how much do you repair? There's already a patina into some of the finishes. There's funny skirting boards that don't line up. I think it's lovely just to say new is new and old is old, but have a conversation between the two elements together. I think that's its beauty as well. All the feature colours in the house are actually inspired by the heritage stained glass that was in the house when I came here. So if you look at all the colours, they all draw back into the um, original stained glass in the doors. There's clear glass, there's lilac -y blues and soft pinks running through the house. I've got a light fitting from E15 which matches the actual colours of the original stained glass. And there's something very beautiful about having the contemporary and the old pieces talking to each other. I think it's great to find something that works for you and, um, and, and look after it rather than necessarily feeling like you have to come into a space and always completely reinvent it. Great paintwork and joinery and stonework is what is important to me and I guess that's where I see the beauty and that's what excites me. The great thing about being your house is you really don't have to justify a lot of it more than this is what I'm responding to and collecting those elements together and how your house kind of becomes this, this almost like this shell or this enclosure that you can bring those things together and keep building on them. Wow, what an experience, Kim. I agree, Hana. I didn't know there's so much to consider in styling and design of a space. 
I know. I wish I had her skills, as in, like, you know, I could have designed my own house. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Moving on, Kim.、Um, are you on any social media apps right now? Yes, I am. I've got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, and even TikTok, you name it. Wow, so you're basically everywhere. Can、yes. I follow you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, anyways, um, do you happen to have、um, people online,、um, you know,、um, how they created this、um, great content? And,、um, you know, they have a lot of followers as well. Yes, content can. Content creators and social media influencers have thousands, even millions, of views and likes. And digital renovation revolution, sorry, have driven the marketing industry in the last decade, decade, and will continue to do so for more years to come. In fact, social media marketing got you watching this live session right now. Exactly, and um. Then they can turn it into an in- income generating business, right? So,、um, if you wanted to know how to do that, then our digital marketing and communication course is perfect for you. That's right. Social media marketing is one of the fastest growing industries today. Everyone around the world has at least one social media account, right? So, I'm sure it's exciting to learn about how to manage. Social media for different organizations. I also heard Hannah that the pay is good. Well, that's right, Kim. The salaries that you get, you see here are actually just the average of、um, marketing and social media related jobs. Looks very promising, don't you think, Kim? Yes, I agree. And to ensure PTG delivers the best quality of training, we have highly qualified trainers who share their expertise to our students. The first one is Simon Rudy, who has been in the digital marketing industry for 20 years. He also operates twin consultancies that focuses on content development and content marketing. Finally, he is passionate about content marketing and creates wonderful content for his clients. And he wants to share all of this to his students. And we also have Stephen Schilling, who has been in the fields of digital marketing and social media for more than ten years. He has multiple qualifications related to interactive in- entertainment, media arts, and product production, leadership and management, marketing, and of course training and assessment. So, with highly qualified trainers like Simon and Stephen. Our students can absolutely rest assured to receive only the best training. That's right, and to give everyone an overview of how social media has evolved in recent years and why there is a need to learn digital marketing, let's watch these videos.
Here are five reasons why you need digital marketing skills. One, it gives you options. One of the best things about being a digital marketer is having choices. You can choose to work from an agency or work client side. You can use your skills to freelance or start your own business. There are so many opportunities. Two, digital marketing skills in demand. They're sought after by companies, and if you have highly specialized skills in digital marketing, you might be even more in demand. Three, it can give you a good paycheck. As a digital marketer, you have opportunities to enjoy a fast-paced, exciting and well-paid career. Four, marketing is digital marketing. Can you imagine being a marketer in this day and age and not having a clue about how a brand should use social media? Or not having a clue about what SEO is? If you wanna be a good marketer, you need to understand digital. In fact, if you wanna be any kind of half-decent marketer, you need digital skills. Five, if you're a business owner, digital marketing can take your business to the next level. Learn digital marketing and you'll get to know how to find people online, then turn them into customers. I bet digital marketing is something we all have to learn no matter what industry we're working. Do you think so, Kim? Indeed. And I remember that video earlier with the award-winning interior designer, they are able to share their talent and services via social media like YouTube. So it's good news to our students that PTG is updated with the needs of today's world. Also, we have three qualifications for marketing and communication. The first one is the Di Diploma of Digital Marketing. Immerse yourself in the latest digital marketing trends and learn how to create a successful campaign that will grow your business online. In this qualification, you are expected to be competent in understanding audiences and online customer behavior, analyzing results and metrics, and creating persuasive copywriting. Next, we have the Diploma of Social Media Marketing, where you will learn all there is to know about different social media platforms. We will also learn how to build social media marketing strategies and implementation plans which can be applied to your business. Once completed, you are expected to demonstrate the following skills. Create high converting content, developing your own social media strategy, establishing presence in social media, developing social media advertising strategies, building a personal brand, managing conversation strategies, and undertaking real-life projects. And finally, we have the Advanced Diploma of Marketing and Communication. This will train our students for leadership roles who will analyze, design, and make decisions using your creative skills. Once completed, you're expected to demonstrate the following skills. Creating advertising campaigns, developing marketing plans and strategies, maintaining business networks, implementing business plans, conducting market, market research, measuring marketing effectiveness, and managing innovative and continuous improvement. Also, please note that entry to the advanced diploma requires either the completion of these five units or four years of full-time relevant work experience. When you complete these courses, your career opportunities include digital marketing manager, social media consultant, marketing director, and many more. Wow, these are very exciting jobs, Kim. So again, we have the Diploma of Digital Marketing, Diploma of Social Media Marketing, and the Advanced Diploma of Marketing and Communication. Now that we have discussed our painting and decoration, as well as digital marketing and communication courses, Kim, could you please walk us through our education pathways? Sure, Hannah. To continue, PTG's education pathway is really easy. All our courses are delivered in English, so you can start with an English course if you think you have to improve your English. 
first or if you are already good in that in that language you may proceed directly to any of our courses discussed earlier afterwards you can continue higher education like completing a university degree or taking up another qualification or you can go ahead and use your learning to your current or prospect work. And when you enroll, you will also have the options to either study on campus or study 100% online. So if our students choose the mode of study on campus, this will, will allow the students to have an extra class with their trainers, meet other students, and instantly addressing any concerns. But the study 100% online um, mode will actually give our students the convenience, especially for those who are always on the go. So the students can actually complete their units anytime and anywhere they may be. Also, please take note that due to the practical nature of the course, our painting and decoration course is only available for online delivery. Sorry, for on-campus delivery. Thank you for that, Hannah. So if I want to enroll now, when can I start? Great question, Kim. If you're studying on campus, we actually have a timetable to follow. So our next intake is on the July 3rd. But if you feel like you need more time to prepare, we also have intakes in August, September, and October. You can even plan as far as um, ahead as 2024 or 2025. That's right. PTG also thinks about the personal schedule of our students. That's why we have term breaks for our students to relax and explore the many beautiful places in Australia. Amazing! So aside from studying, our students can also travel. Yes, that's correct. So let's now talk about how to get started. Hannah, can you tell us more about the requirements for enrollment? Absolutely. So we have simplified the requirements for our students. You will only need to be first at least 18 years of age, have completed year 11 or equivalent of studies, and have an inter upper intermediate level of English or higher, IELTS 5.5 or equivalent, or take at pass PPG's language literacy and numeracy assessments. And as in for the documents, you only need to send copies of your valid passport, academic transcript, this is, um, we need your original transcript, and the one translated in English, updated CV, and English proficiency document. So pretty much just the very basic requirements that are easy to comply with. That's correct. And if you have all of these documents and you are ready to go, then please send us a message at inquiries at pacifictraining.edu.au and one of our education advisors will get back to you for further assistance. You know, Kim, PDG can also help in processing and completing visa applications with the help of our migration expert. And when our students arrive in Australia, they can also avail our airport pickup service. So they can go straight to their accommodations. And speaking of accommodations, we have also partnered with the following companies to ensure the comfort of student living. We have Study Vision, we have Global Experience, we have Australian Homestay Network or AHN, and we also have Linked to Student Living. These companies provide different options like homestay, co-living options, parents-nominated accommodation, and caregiving services. These are highly secured facilities, affordable, and most especially comfortable. There are also packages which includes meals and utilities, all to make sure our students live a hassle-free lifestyle while studying in Australia. Thanks, Tim. Well, now let's watch a video for an overview of the different accommodation types and arrival tips, as well as a testimonial from one of our previous students. Okay. Every lunch and every dinner, uh -huh. he cooks, then I cook. Yeah. So okay. We're just like wife and husband. Hey, Juan, should we buy some some rice? Oh, uh, yeah, darling. 
Living with other people, it's quite hard for me because I'm a little bit messy. But it's make me grow up quickly, though. Homestay was so much fun. I, I love living with the Australian family, so I miss them so much. Living on campus is so much fun. And um, the fact that you can make friends from all over the world and get together, it's amazing. I love you. I miss you, my darling. I never knew how to cook before I came here, but I'm being a professional of Korean food, being proud of myself. Today, we look forward to welcoming you to Australia. Here are some tips for a smooth arrival into Sydney Airport. Once you've touched down, step one is going through the Australian Border Force. Make sure to have your passport, student visa and other documents ready to show the officer. Next, it's time to collect your bags. Look out for the baggage collection signs and make your way down to the carousels. Once you're there, check out the screens to find your flight number and which belt your bag will be on. Now you're ready to visit the New South Wales International Student Welcome Desk. Look out for the friendly volunteers in bright pink t-shirts. Give them a wave and say hi. They can answer all your questions and will have the information you need, including transport, SIM card and general advice. There are a few different transport options. You can catch the train direct to the city, catch a rideshare or taxi, or arrange to meet a friend at the pickup zone. Safe travels! We look forward to welcoming you to Sydney and New South Wales and wish you well for your studies. You're going to love it. I came to Australia to improve myself, to study and create a better career, always looking for new experiences and a different lifestyle. After a short period in Sydney, still getting used to a new routine, the Covid arrived and made everything more difficult than I thought it could be. I had to invent ways to keep paying bills. I was away from home, from my family and my friends. The social distance made the process of making new friends be harder. Many times I felt alone. But at this point, the Pacific Training Group became a big Good morning, gift Talita. For me. How are you? Good morning. I'm good and you? I'm very good. Absolutely great to see you today. I started having classes online with one of the best professors I have ever had in my life. The support online from the staff is another point that helped me a lot. Today I can say that I see hope in the future because the school gave me ways to improve my abilities. They believe in their students and make us fight for a better future. And I want to thank all of them to believe in me. I will keep my journey always looking forward.
That was a very touching testimonial, don't you think, Kim? I know moving and studying in Australia is truly made easy when they are with PTG. Indeed, I agree, um, Kim. Especially during the lockdowns, it's very good to see that in those difficult times, PTG was still able to provide a community for our students to commu- um, to continue with their studies and skill development online. I agree, Hana. And to further assist our students and graduates, we have collected here a list of portals where you can explore many job opportunities. We understand that looking for a job can be challenging, especially if you are in new country or city. So we have created this guide to help you with your goals, and we not only supplied you the resources, but we also took the time to review them. You can check Seek, Indeed. Gold Coast Student Jobs, Jora, Workforce Australia, and Gobji. They can also connect with our employment partners, namely Empire Hospitality, the Hotel School, O'Reilly's Rainforest Retreat, or even for PDP Student Internship Program, where they can actually get to work with the PDP. So many job opportunities indeed if you guys decided to study in Australia with the Pacific Training Group. Absolutely, Hannah. So what are you waiting for? Send us a message or schedule a meeting with one of our education advisors to assist you with your needs. Thank you very much for that, Kim. Some of our viewers may be interested in, uh, in um, some other courses which we have already covered in the previous live events. But um, just as a recap, here are all the courses available in PTG. Hospitality Management, Event Management, Marketing and Communication, IT Cyber Security, Project and Program Management, Human Resources, Leadership and Management, Retail Management, and Painting and Decoration. And we will have one final live event for South Korea to give you guys an overview of each course. So we have the Study in Australia Monday, 19th of June, 2 p.m. Korean Standard Time, and at 3 p.m. Sydney Time. And for more information, make sure to visit us at our official website pacifictraining.edu.au but um, facebook page pacific training group twitter at pacific training train tree and on our instagram at pacific training edu au all right thank you so much for staying with us until the end i hope we were able to inspire you to study in australia and enroll in pacific training group um, so, I believe we're ready to wrap up for the day. Yes, Haina. On behalf of Pacific Training Group team, I would like to thank everyone for joining our virtual program, study, painting, and decoration, and digital marketing and communication in Australia Pacific Training Group. We look forward to seeing you in Australia and here at Pacific Training Group where your success career starts. This has been your host, Kim and Hannah. See you soon and have a lovely afternoon. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. I'm Adria Bayarri. I'm from Barcelona. I'm studying leadership and management on Pacific. Been now doing it for five months. At the moment, we are building a business company with my partners, uh, specialized on events. I decided to do this course because I wanted to improve my abilities to speak with people, my skills, and I think it's very useful at, at this moment of my life because at the same time I'm having the experience of my company, I'm learning as well a different part of it uh, by the course. We are learning also all how to speak with the people, how to manage a big team, uh, security staff, and yeah, it's very useful. Australia is it's amazing. Everyone is just so nice, and you can see that the beach and, and all the way around is so clean. We are all the time with the longboard around. Everyone is just with a, with a good mood, with a sunny day always.
and yeah, it's beautiful to live here. We are so, so lucky. It's so easy to, to make friends. Uh, everyone is so friendly. With the English, it's so easy to just communicate. And yeah, with the course and the business, we are learning that everyone is different. We have different cultures and we have uh, different ideas about life. And this is so beautiful about Australia, that even if you come from different parts of the world, at the end, everyone is going to be together. I believe that spending money on Australia and investing money to come here is a, a way to invest money on yourself. And in the future, you will really see the results.